Should the Royal Navy equip OPVs with Sea Captor? Is there space and is their radar capable of supporting it? What are the disadvantages? 1. Steve Jones, Answers The River Batch 1 Stein, Severn and Mersey Down have the scanter radar fit of the Clyde and the Batch 2s. According to MBDA Sea Captor can take sufficient data off a 2D air search set so scanner should be sufficient to provide target indication within the limitations of the set. That said there is absolutely no way whatsoever that an OPV should have the money spent on it to add a SAM. An OPV is not a frigate and shouldn't be confused with one. I've no objection to a dual role main gun mount like one of the smart 40mm that are becoming more prevalent. I've been of the view for a while that rolling SIGs and ASCG into a single mount, like a MK4 40mm, would be a good idea and that this kind of mount would be a far more suitable main gun for the OPV slash MCMW fleet than the current ASCG. Having some local anti-air slash anti-missile capability might be a nice to have if you happen to wander into the sights of some irregular force or other in the course of your normal day-to-day -day activities. But, the bottom line is that OPVs and the such like should not be pushed into a known threat environment without someone watching over them. They just aren't designed to cope with combat damage and they don't have, generally, the warfare skills in the crew to go blasting away at air tracks with SAMs. A cheaper, leaner manned, patrol frigate with Sea Captor is the basic operational concept behind Type 31E. Any money that might go towards missiles on OPVs I'd suggest would be better pointed in that direction. 2. Ace Smith, Answers The Type 26 will have sea captor silos on the bow and at the funnel will provide the Royal Navy's Type 26 global combat ships with the head of the Type 26 program at defense equipment and support, though without proper funding the vessels will not be fitted out to their OPV manufacturing quality.